Erde. Tief in ihrem Innern brodeln, getrieben durch die Wärme des radioaktiven Zerfalls, Massen von flüssigem Gestein. An einigen Stellen tritt es in Vulkanen an die Oberfläche. In Hamburg befindet sich eines der größten Synchrotron-Labore der Welt. Im Beschleunigerring Petra 3 bei DESI werden Elektronen hochpräzise auf Kreisbahnen gebracht. An verschiedenen Stellen sind magnetische Strukturen, Undulatoren, angebracht, die die Elektronen zum Zittern bringen. Dabei entsteht intensives Röntgenlicht, das in den Messplätzen von Petra 3 zur Untersuchung von Stoffen und Materialien benutzt wird. Und was hat das mit dem Erdinneren zu tun? So we are here in Hamburg at the Petra 3 facility at DESI. This is Susanna and she will show me something very extreme here. Yes, this is a extreme condition B mine, Petra 3. And here is an experiment dedicated to studying matter at extreme conditions. The extreme conditions are high pressures and high temperatures. So how extreme are they? Is it like in a um, bicycle air pump or is it more? Uh, it's way, way more. It's actually a million times atmospheres higher than at the Earth's surface. So we're trying to simulate conditions in the interiors of planets and the Earth. So for instance, in the Earth, in the center of the core, we have 360 gigapascals, which is 360 billion of atmospheres. So we have a pressure vessel. It consists of two parts. And each has a small diamond. Oh, a diamond. Is it valuable? It's valuable, like a diamond, <laughs> like a gem. But these are natural diamonds. They have very low impurities. And the tips of the diamonds are cut off. And then they are brought together like this. And then when they are these two parts squeezed together, they confine the sample in between and create the high pressures. So to reach a uh, high temperature in the sample, we use powerful lasers that are focused directly inside the sample through the diamonds. So you have a kind of grain between diamonds and you shoot on it with a laser. Exactly. So once we reach these high pressures and temperatures, now of course we want to know what's going on with the sample at these conditions and we probe them with x-rays. And the main technique we have here at this experimental station is x-ray diffraction. So the x-rays are coming from here. The x-rays hit the sample inside the cell and then by diffraction um, we can see on the detectors behind what is the structure. For instance, what is the atomic structure of the sample. And are there results already? Of course, there are lots of results. So uh, we had experimented with mat mental materials, for instance, the minerals that uh, exist in the mantle. We iron a lot because the earth's core is composed mainly of iron we do uh, we do create such conditions that we can create basically artificial magmas nun noch mal kurz in die teeküche lebensmittel sind nämlich im labor tabu so i carried a honeydew melon all the time um, i think we can slice it open Oops. okay so does it show any similarity to the earth it does, except of the core, I'd say. So we have the tiny crust. It's uh, in comparison to the radius of the planet, it's, uh, it's really little. Then we have the mantle. Well, in reality, in the Earth, we have a lower and upper mantle. So there is a little bit differences in here. But then the core uh, also consists of a liquid uh, iron core, which is the outer core, and the inner solid core, which we don't see here. <laughs> With your experiments, in which regions of the Earth are you? So we are trying to reach the very center of the Earth. That's the holy grail of our experiments. But those are extremely difficult. <clears throat> so mostly we, we are in the region to the core mantle boundary, so in between the mantle uh, and the core. Thanks for the time.